Hey there, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a great one. I wanted to jump on here right quick and just ask a question before I start today's tutorial. Um, yesterday I posted a thank you tutorial for uh, helping me reach my 4,000 subscribers, which I'm humbled that so many of you have actually considered and enjoyed my videos enough to subscribe. So thank you for that. But my question is, um, yesterday when I did do the uh, anthropology dupe that I made the painting, um, for me it's going to be a Christmas backdrop of uh, one of my mantles in my house. Um, but are, is it too soon to start making Christmas tutorials for everyone? Um, if you guys want me to start making tutorials for Christmas, just go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't, let me know in the comments down below. So um, yeah, that was my question. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. And again, thank you so, so much for subscribing and continue to give me big thumbs up if you enjoy my videos and also sharing this, uh, my videos with friends and family that you guys think might enjoy it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with today's DIY. So what you're going to need first are seven of these wire brushes and you're going to go ahead and remove all the bristles from all seven brushes. Um, it's not very hard to remove these brush these bristles. So you just go ahead and remove them. I got this um, idea, I was inspired basically by um, a shelf that I saw in a restroom in one of my local restaurants and I thought it looked so cute that once I saw it, I thought I can make that with Dollar Tree products. So um, yeah, that's how I ended up with this project. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and cover up all the hose that the bristles left. And I'm using this stucco um, that you can get at the, at the Dollar Tree as well. And you just fill in the holes and kind of clean up all the leftover stucco and just wipe it down as much as you can and just set it aside to let it dry. Now since it's not a huge area, they kind of dry pretty fast, but I left them alone for a while while I did the rest of the project. Now what we're going to use is some Gorilla Glue and I only had a little bit of the wood glue left, so um, I'm just using some wood glue on this, pro on this part of the project and um, I added a little bit of hot glue as well. I wanted to make sure this would stay and it was secure. So once you add your glues, go ahead and um, press on it and just make sure that the opening, the holes um, match up because that's where you're going to end up um, uh, actually hanging it from. So the, there's going to be three of them that you're going to cut in half and then you're just going to go ahead and sand everything down. Now, I said there was seven of them and two of them like this are stuck together and the seventh one basically I cut in half and glued, um, glued together. So that's how you ended up with your three shelves. Now using Gorilla Glue and hot glue, I'm going to go ahead and add these to my sides. Another idea is if you don't have any um, or don't want to use any glue, you can easily use a hammer and nails or even screws to make this more secure as well. So I added some Gorilla Glue and hot glue on the opposite side. And once I measured one side, I just went ahead and um, put both sides side by side and measured them. That's how I ended up gluing them together and making sure they were even. Now this is another idea. This is completely optional as well. Um, what I'm doing is just the hook that has five hooks. Uh, I'm just bending it back and forth because I wanted to use three of the hooks for the bottom of my barrel. Now you don't have to do this, but like I said, this is something that I wanted. Um, and what I'm going to do is use one of the screws that it comes with, and then I'm going to also use some Gorilla Glue. 
And now if you don't want to use one of the screws, just go ahead and use Gorilla Glue and hot glue and it'll be secure as well. So I added the Gorilla Glue and then I'm going to screw in one of the screws right where the opening is at. Now the metal strips that you see that we're going to use, those are from um, the disposable uh, pa cake pans that they have at Dollar Tree. Um, I believe they come two in a package and all you need is ba basically two of those disposable trays um, if you want to use the strips on all three of the shelves. Uh, and basically it's just the edging of those shelves, of those pans, I'm sorry. And they, I cut them the actual size of the pan and I don't need them that, um, that wide. So what I did was just bent it over one of the shelves to get the exact size I needed. Now make sure you cut them a little bit longer or you have two strips for one shelf uh, because you want it to wrap around the entire front shelf, the front of the shelf and on the edges as well. Now once you get all your pieces cut out, go ahead and use your hot glue to glue them down and see how it goes all the way to the sides. Um, and yeah, this is just my preference. You don't have to do it on the side, but um, yeah, I wanted it all wrap, to wrap around. So I went ahead and glued the front part, let that dry and just continue to do that to all three uh, shelves. Then I'm gluing the sides. And that's how it looks completed. Now you can just finish it here and you can be done. Um, but I wanted to add some something that looked like nails um, because that's the way the barrel looks. So what I'm using are thumbtacks. And it's completely optional how many thumbtacks you want to add to your barrel uh, shelf. I added four on the top, then five in the middle, and four again on the bottom. And you just push them down, and if you can't push them completely, into your uh, wood just go ahead and use a hammer and tap them in like so now I'm going to add one I'm sorry two thumbtacks on each strip on the side like so and you do that on both sides now you can leave it this way and it looks really cute um, if you like that natural uh, light color wood. But what I'm going to do is actually try to stain this just to make it look uh, weathered and darker. And the bottom hooks are white and I'm going to spray paint them black. So what I did is add maybe about a tablespoon of water to this little cup. And I added, uh, I guess you could say equal parts of paint, maybe a little bit less just to give it more of that watered down uh, paint look and it works just like a stain and I painted over the uh, strips as well just to give it more of that old age look and you just go over it as many times as you want depending on how dark you want your shelf to look. I didn't just paint it brown because I didn't want it to look painted. I wanted it to actually look stained. But you can completely just paint it. Once you're done and it's all completely dry, we're going to actually add in our um, nautical rope to hang it. Now you don't have to hang it from here. You can easily add hooks to the back as well. And if you want it fleshed, uh, want it like for more secure go ahead and add those hooks just uh, to make sure that it doesn't move around or what have you depending on what you add onto your uh, shelves but what i'm doing is i'm going to go ahead and wrap some tape around the ends of my uh, nautical rope in order for me to easily slide them through the opening of the barrels or the uh, brushes because it's a kind of a smaller um, opening hole than the nautical rope itself so in order for me to go ahead and 
push it through, I found it easier to add the tape. And all I'm doing is just wrapping it around, rolling it around um, your nautical rope like so, and kind of just make it a tight fit. Let me know in the comments down below if you know any other trick of how to um, string rope through an opening that's kind of harder or smaller than the actual rope itself. But you kind of just wiggle it and twist it in until you uh, see the tape on the other side like so. And if you're strong enough, just go ahead and pull it through. What I got it was some pliers and just kind of twist it until I pulled it through. And there you have it. Now you can make it as long as you want um, for it to be hung. And once you're happy with the length that you're going to have left over to tie a knot to hang it from, go ahead and cut off the rest of the jute twine. And then the front, just go ahead and make double knots on either side so you can have that as a design, like so. And cut off any extra rope. <clears throat> a little thing that I do as well is once I've already added um, the knot for it to stay in place and um, not fall apart or frail, I add some hot glue at the bottom to make sure it stays in place as well. Now the top, you can easily leave it that way or cut off the, the ends of your rope. I just left it that way and I'm using my lighter to clean up my um, nautical rope. And I'm kind of trying to make it look more of an older nautical rope, so I wanted to get a little bit darker. So I'm actually um, using my lighter a little bit more than what you should or you know need to, just so it can have more of that darker color um, rope. And there you have it. What do you guys think? Now you can leave it this way or you can um, sand it down if you want more of the metal shining to come through. Um, but that's completely optional. And here's one option that you can use it for, for your um, shots. Or like I saw it in that bathroom is with uh, some towels and you can add whatever you like to it. So what do you guys think? Where are you going to use yours at? Thanks for joining me. Till next time, stay blessed. Bye.